caution you're entering the bill spin zone. Last night, Bill O'Reilly covered the News Corp hacking scandal for the first time since the story broke. Wake up, dude. Although he wasted no time downplaying the whole thing. Do the folks over there, the folks, the regular people, do they care about this big press battle? You know, the folks. But when his foreign correspondent told him people do care about the story, he moved on to a flunky from the Heritage Foundation who gave him the answers he wanted. Here in the United States, there isn't any intrusion of this story thus far uh, on News Corp properties, none. Yet you have the New York Times absolutely running wild with the story. Uh, front page, front page, front page, column, 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 vicious stuff, vicious stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, doctor. There's not one American employee of the News Corporation implicated in any of this. Yeah, that's absolutely right. There's not a shred of evidence whatsoever. <laughs> Actually, that's totally wrong. Now, I know you're just looking out for the folks, Bill. Uh, you don't want them to be misinformed, do you? So here's Big Ed's talking points memo tonight. Les Hinton, one of Rupert Murdoch's closest colleagues and an American citizen, resigned the hacking scandal. You should know him. He worked in your building, Bill. Hinton was the CEO of Dow Jones and publisher of the Wall Street Journal, both News Corp properties. So it's here. Facts like these are things the folks might like to know. And that's the memo.